What is going on everybody? We are starting the block pretty much today. So Okay, so um we have a little bit of a change of plans because obviously like I talked about in the last video, I was supposed to PR my deadlift today and PR my bench today. But unfortunately for me, um the last few days I've been working out, my left like whole arm like from my top of my shoulder to like my um middle like like here in my arm like where my elbow is um it's just been really really like in pain and my forearm too it's just been like sore and in pain <clears throat> and like i think i messed it up maybe doing like chest flies in my video which you guys saw two days ago i didn't film no i did i did it when the video i already posted um, me doing chest flies, my bicep, like, the same exact area really started hurting right after that. So, I have a feeling, obviously, pulling a lot of weight for me, like, pulling a PR during my meet, and then coming, taking one day off, coming right back and hitting a really heavy, um, really heavy squat, and then a really, really heavy dead, again, like, two days after, probably just really messed me up, and I've been benching really heavy pretty much every week, like, every day. Uh, incline barbell wasn't that heavy, but I did a tempo bench on Thursday, which was yesterday, which was, um, so yeah, which was, which was pretty heavy. Sorry, I did a tempo bench on, on Wednesday, on, no, wait, wait, no, yesterday's Friday. I did tempo bench on Thursday, um, which was pretty heavy. It was like 225 for like a single. And then I did like three back downs of 185 for pauses, for long pauses. Um, so I think just like in general, my, my arm's a little messed up. So me and my coach talked and we're like, listen, it's probably not worth it because I, like I said, I was like, it's not worth it for me to get injured or do something stupid just to pull for fun. Like it doesn't mean anything. So, um, we like agreed it's like just keep it for the end of the block you'll be fine you're gonna pr at the end of the block anyway which i definitely am um so we still have singles obviously everything's changed right so i can talk about the program now everything's changed a little bit because i'm off season very off season don't even know what i'm doing when i can meet officially yet so um biggest change is just like rep ranges not so much exercises like it changes a little bit, but, like, not really. It's mostly just rep ranges. So, my squat day, which was yesterday, I now have a top set of four, and then I have a single, um, and then I have three by four. So, he was, like, experimenting with it, with me, kind of, because he's, like, I don't normally do this type of stuff, but it's, like, a trend right now for the fatigue single, and he knows I handle volume pretty well. So he's like a fatigue single might be might be pretty good for you. Um, so I'm I've been doing that. Well, I'm gonna start doing that. So I did it yesterday. Felt pretty good. My squats already a lot better. Um, like wearing flats, I like already learned a bunch of stuff from him. He like taught me what to do or told me what to do, like how to squat. Way it's just better. Like it's kind of a different pattern, which is weird. Like it's a different squat pattern, which makes sense obviously. It's like a different movement. So, like, we were talking, and, like, I could never hit depth without heels, which is why I always wore them. And he was, like, I learned right now. I watched your squat once, I know exactly why. And I'm, like, what do you mean? He's, like, you are so used to being pitched up on heels that for you to get centered over your midfoot, you have to lean back. So your whole body's leaning back, and your knees are leaning back. Like, they're flat. So for me to hit depth with heels on, it's just the down movement because I already have heels pitching me forward. So I'm hitching forward, instead I'm leaning back and making it go down. Now, since I don't have heels, obviously my foot's flat. So my body is so used to leaning forward, that when I'm standing there, I'm like straight on like the toes of my feet, because I'm used to being on my, my heels already doing that. So now I'm obviously flat and pushed down. So instead of me leaning back, I need to lean forward and kind of trust my quads and like let my knees go over my my front of my foot like knees over toes let it happen 
which I've never done before because I'm always used to leaning back and it's much more of an up and down pattern. With like my, my like, I'm saying like my, my center of mass, when you lean back is up and down with heels on. When you don't have heels on, you have to lean forward to be up and down. So we kind of just are messing with that and we're messing with me looking at one point on the wall, packing my chin, all the stuff I didn't have to worry about when I had heels on, which I now do. And it's a fully different pattern, like fully different. But it feels all really good. Like I felt really comfortable, honestly, squatting, which I never do without heels on. So I'm happy with that. Um, the yesterday session was really good. Obviously, it's week one, right? So like everything's super, super light. Today's going to be super, super light. And everything's going to be light for a while. But so anyway, as I was saying, I got a call. I got a call. Um, so pretty much just everything's week one. So <clears throat> it's going to be really, really light. Um, like... Yesterday, my squats were at RP5. I guarantee my bench and my dad is not past RP6 today. I think my dad's at 5 and my bench is at 6. It, my bench might be at 5, to be honest. I don't even know. All I know is that I still have singles for bench, so bench hasn't really changed, which is good because um, I want to test my max again anyway. But my coach is like, I think we should keep singles in for now at least. So I'm keeping in singles for bench. At the end of the block, his goal for me is to double two and a half kilos above my comp PR. Or sorry, his goal is for me to hit my two and a half kilos above my comp PR at a nine. So hopefully I can do that. And then 120 in the next block, which would be pretty nice. That would be 115. So that would be 253, which is pretty good. Honestly, I'll take that. So we'll see. Dead's the goal at the end of the block, I believe, is to triple about five or seven and a half to five kilos under what I hit in my comp um, to triple it at a nine. So that would be kind of sick, actually. So that'd be pretty nice um, either way. But yeah, we'll see. It's week one. Everything's really light. So let's get to the gym. Yeah. Can you, um, can you brush the bar, too? Three, two, one. There. Let's go. Top set is really well. I think a one by five at six and a half. Hopefully this was six and a half. It should. I'm gonna probably eat all this stuff. Oh, no, no. Yo, yo. Soft. Yes, flaccid, flaccid, flaccid lift up. What the fuck? Alright, I have five. You gonna come down? You gonna give me a count? Yeah, yeah. Three, two, one. I got fucking guys. I need to buy five back <laughs> <laughs>
Dead so I have triples, but I've been having a pretty long time. So I'm very interested to see how those go. Like this move. Easy, come on. So. Maybe. All right, we have a quick, quick three by four. It's like, I don't know, it's annoying. I mean, yeah, it's, it's like 275. Slay the shit.
We're done. Okay, first thing we got is dips. We got 25 kilo, it's about 55 pounds. We got the tops are five and then back downs of 10. My elbow still hurts. Um, like I was saying, so don't oh, miss that hard. Two sets of ten here. I don't know if I'm gonna go super slow because it's kind of hard to. But we'll see. No, that's not bad. Okay, get RPOs after this. Actually, been a very long time since I did anything uh, less talking, but it's okay. I'm gonna do hopefully RDLs, 65 pounds, any tan. We'll see. It seems like a lot to me. I feel like I'm my numbers are like off or something, but I don't know. Maybe not. That is very light, actually. I'll take it. Two more. I felt pretty good, but it was easy. I wanted to kind of keep it easy just because it's week one, so no reason to push it. And like, like forearms and stuff or whatever it is, it's still in pain. So just chill out a little bit. Pretty sure I had no audio for that last bit. It's just going oh, great. Um, it was really easy, but my groin hurts, so we're sick with it.
That's what don't like it does. Just push downs. I'm probably just gonna do three sets of 100 here at this part. See how it feels. I'm gonna call it today, my, my alerts. Okay, yeah, this video's been a little weird. Um, so, sorry about that. Um, it's just like, I don't know. Um, I was here for four hours today, which is a really fucking long time, obviously. Um, I just like talked a lot, and like my primary actual stuff only takes like, took like an hour and a half, which is like pretty normal for me, but everything else just took like forever today. Um, so it kind of like messed me up a little bit. Um, I don't know. I just like my my left forearm and everything that I was saying before really really hurts. So me and a bunch of people that I've talked to said they think it's tendonitis, which makes sense because I got tendonitis in my right arm from like throwing the football around, um, like when I was my quarterback for like rec or whatever for IM. So it doesn't like surprise me that I would have tendonitis in my um in my left arm as well, especially from pulling and all the heavy pressing and stuff I've done. So like I had to cut push down short, like everything just hurts a little bit right now. It's, it's really sucks, honestly, because aside from my arm hurting, everything's going amazing. Like my weights feel good. My progression has been amazing. Like everything is really good. My form is way better and everything. Everything is good. Everything's still moving good. It's just like really degrading that I'm in a lot of pain in my left arm only when I lift. And when I'm going to sleep, which is really weird to me, like when, like right now it's like fine. Like when I'm lifting current, like as I'm lifting, it hurts really bad. And when I'm going to sleep, it hurts really bad. I don't know why. Um, I think it's because of my squatting, to be honest, because like my arms in a really weird position when I squat and it's really like when I, you guys see when I'm done squatting, my hand gets stuck on the bar. Like I cannot take my left hand off the bar for like, like five seconds until it's racked, which is really bad because it's just like so much tension. Like, I try to let go of everything, and I just can't. Like, my hand doesn't move. So, I don't know if I should maybe be holding wider or something, but I don't know. I'm going to have to talk to my coach about it um, and see what he thinks. But it's just, like, really painful right now. So, I don't really know what to do about it. And it is kind of annoying because week one. But everything moved well. Like, my deadlifts, that tied my all-time PR triple at, like, a five. It was easy. I did drop it at the top because I was being cocky. But, like, whatever. I was happy that it moved that well. Um, my bench moved really well, moved probably like a six. So I was supposed to move at a seven, actually, which is good. Um, so I'm, I'm not complaining. I just like, it sucks that I'm in pain. Uh, I wish I wasn't in pain. But I'm going to talk to my coach about it and see what he thinks. And we'll be fine. I mean, I get off tomorrow, obviously. And then, you know, we just lock in. I do have my first test of the semester this week. So that might be a little stressful. Um, kind of annoying because... I have no clue what's going on in half my classes, but you know what? It's fine. It's college. We'll figure it out, right? Uh, I've almost got, only got three left, so only three semesters left. 
and then I am graduated and I'm done. So yeah, sorry if this video is like really spread out. I think I didn't have audio for my first hip thrust that I did. And my friend was trolling me. If you guys saw, he went to go put a 25 on mid set, which kind of made me stop the set early. Cause I was like, all right, I don't really want to be trolled right now. And they didn't feel good. So um, I kind of stopped my hip thrust early, but it's fine. RDL felt really good today. Um, and my primary target, which is all that really matters. So I'll take it. I think it will absolutely destroy a Chick-fil-A meal. Spicy chicken sandwich, the large mac and cheese, and an iced tea. About to be, I believe it's whew, 1,350 calories or something. Just absolutely munch. I just got to eat as much as I possibly can, get all that protein in. So I have to absolutely munch a meal and just enjoy the rest of the night. I might be going to my friend's house for a little bit or not. We'll see. I don't know. It depends how I feel, to be honest. But good video. Sorry it was spread out. Uh, next one will be better. Hope I don't know when I'm going to film again, but it'll be soon. It'll be back to normal. So week one, remember, everything's pretty light. And then week four, we hit some crazy numbers. So I'm excited. I'll see you guys in the next one.